House Democrats have unveiled their plan to increase taxes for corporations and wealthy individuals. Businesses with an annual income of over $5 million would be subject to the tax hike. Americans who make more than $400,000 would also be impacted. Lawmakers say the increases would help offset the $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation package. Members of the House Ways and Means Committee will continue debating the proposal this week. For more, I want to bring in Sarah Ewall Weiss. She's a CBS News reporter covering economic policy. Hi there, Sarah. So, how does this proposal differ from President Biden's initial plan? Well, I think uh, when you look at it at a glance, it doesn't go nearly as far as the plan that President Biden had called for earlier this year. Uh, but it does tackle some of the same elements. Uh, one thing on this plan is the corporate tax rate. President Biden had called for the corporate tax rate to be increased from 21 percent to 28 uh, percent. This increases the corporate tax rate, but only on companies uh, with incomes of five million dollars or more. And it increases it to 26.5 percent. Other companies making less than that uh, do not have the same increase. And some companies with smaller companies with incomes of 400,000 or less uh, will actually see a decrease of their corporate tax rate to about 18 percent. Another element of this is taxing the wealthiest Americans. This does do what the president asked for, which is raise that tops bracket from 37 percent to 39.6 percent. Um, but it doesn't do as much as the president had called for. He called for capital gains to be uh, taxed at the same rate at 39.6 percent on individuals with incomes above a million dollars. Uh, this doesn't go nearly that far. It raises the rate from 20 to 25 percent. President Watt, that doubled. This goes up just 5 percent. Uh, so that is another thing that, where it doesn't really reach as far. But I did reach out to the White House on this plan. Uh, they praised it, calling it a good first step towards their goals. Um, and they noted that they were focused on not increasing taxes on those making less than $400,000, which they said this doesn't do, as well as what they called closing uh, some of the Trump tax giveaways. Uh, they said that this also works towards that goal as well. Uh, so, of course, they say it's on the right track. There's a lot of uh, room for negotiation here moving forward between the White House, the House, and the Senate, obviously. Well, who are the winners and losers from this proposed increase? Well, I mean, when you look at it, it definitely targets corporations uh, and it definitely targets the most wealthy individuals. I will say when you look at this in terms of framing what the president wanted uh, versus what is actually happening now, um, they actually are all winners based on some of the smaller increases than had been anticipated under the White House proposal. Uh, but in terms of the wealthiest individuals, what this does do is it does include a 3 percent surtax. I mentioned that it doesn't go after folks with the capital gains increase as much as the president had wanted. Uh, but it does include a 3 percent surtax on the wealthiest Americans, uh, those making more than $5 million. So that is one thing targeting the ultra wealthy. Um, another thing to keep in mind here is this didn't increase uh, the taxation on corporations in terms of their foreign profits to the same extent that the president had wanted them to. Uh, but this does still increase those rates. Uh, and winner, you could say, in this instance, are those who uh, are the heirs of billionaires. Um, this does not close loopholes uh, for that income that they could inherit. Um, and I think that is something that the Senate and the White House will definitely focus on moving forward. Um, but well, when you talk about the winners here, I think the White House is really noting uh, that they're focused on the tax cuts uh, in terms of the child tax credit, in terms of the in earned income tax credit. And they say those will be tax cuts for roughly 50 million families. Uh, so that is really what they're highlighting, how they want to help the lower income Americans and the middle class here. So that would be one of the, the winners either way on this front. And Sarah, the removal of what's known as the SALT cap was noticeably not included in the House Democrats' tax proposal. Explain what that is and why it was left out. Yes. Yeah, so uh, the SALT tax is the state and local tax. Uh, under President Trump in 2017, the uh, law basically and uh, capped the deduction on this to $10,000. And this really impacted uh, Americans in mostly high tax states, 
uh, coastal states, for one, uh, have been really hit hard by this. And so Democrats and even some Republicans from some of these states have been calling for that cap on the state and local tax uh, deduction to be repealed. Um, and this has been a real sticking point. Uh, some progressive Democrats say this really repealing this cap benefits more wealthy, higher income individuals with property. Uh, but others disagree on that front. Um, and it has been a point to which some Democrats who are working on this reconciliation package said if there's no repeal of this salt cap, then there's no deal. And Democrats need every vote they can get uh, in both the House as well as the Senate to move this uh, process along. So that is something to be focused on moving forward. And of course, it is something that uh, House leaders have talked about. It was not included specifically in the legislation that was unveiled that they'll be marking up this week. Uh, but they did say in a statement that they are still working towards this goal. And of course, Senator Chuck Schumer of New York has also said that he has a goal of having this making this happen uh, moving forward as well. He mentioned that last week in conversations. Uh, so it's something to keep an eye on if this, this is something uh, that will have movement on moving forward, even though it did not happen uh, in the most recent piece of legislation unveiled. All right. Well, Sarah Ewald, why Sarah, thank you. Of course.